Where the P and the D from Stornoway town We're in a higher land that better not break down We'll stop for a smoke, some coffee and tea We'll reach in for Sneggy, grab a burger with cheese Well, go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lolly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lolly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey and give it lolly. Go and pour yourself a little brandy, take it to the Abbey, give it lolly. <laughs> Good morning folks, it's me Drew. It's uh, rather frosty and icy today. The ground's really hard. Get the dug when I lead the new. Trying to stop her chasing chickens. So once we're past the chickens I light her off. Probably about the only time around here is slightly dry because it's all frosted over. <laughs> so today we're actually going to be doing a bit of slurry. It's going to get in spread down the road from the farm and across the road to a field that's never been spread before with the umbilical. It usually gets done with a tanker, but we're going to take the opportunity to try this. We're going to be doing something that I've seen before on the internet. <laughs> Quite a good idea to be fair. So, aye, that's one thing we're going to be doing. Feel quite bad for folk that have got a slurry ban. It just doesn't make sense to me, this slurry ban thing, because when you do that, you're ruining the opportunity for, say, it comes a dry spell and you don't know what the rest of the, well, the duration of the ban will be like and say it comes really wet and well we have to catch a lot of yard water which is classed as dirty and that can end up filling the tank up far faster than than just slurry alone you might think you're all right with storage but say it comes really wet that happens and you haven't had the opportunity to spread any because of a ban and then you're stuffed. And then what's it gonna happen? It's gonna overflow because you're not allowed to spread it, then you get done for it. Does it? Doesn't make sense to me. So there's that, and then there's also well, even if you make it through it, there's no guarantee at the other end that it's gonna be dry. <laughs> so after you've held off for as long, you end up getting a hellish wet period towards the end of the ban and then you can't get on the ground after that because it's so wet. It just doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. At the moment we're allowed to spread but you have to spread without cause of any runoff. You've not to be daft and this, that and the next. But I know there's a ban coming, there's there's there, there's there's definitely talk of it and we'll need to We'll need to, aye, we'll need to adapt and overcome that. Um, we'll need to make sure the tower's fully empty before going into the ban season. <laughs> uh, just to make sure we make it through. And then at the other end, you'll be dying to get it out because you don't want it to overflow. Um, so you're putting a lot of slurry on the ground at once, which could potentially cause more runoff and more pollution overall due to said ban period so there was no ban put it on the ground when it's dry allow it to sit in the fields and then it doesn't run off you know if it is a good dry period and you actually get slurry spread in it you're not going to cause any problems Did I, uh, doesn't make any sense to me. So, right, I'll unwrap this bale, get to the calves in the back, and I'm bedding up and then potentially feeding the reed, and then getting to slurry. <laughs> Hopefully, I 
I don't fall my ass today, the ground's very, very icy. <laughs> Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. Well, I'm having a sack on the back of the bus, and I'm home with Pepper McCallum. He says there's buttocks and kayaks all over the place, and they're looking at me like I'm a disgrace. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. Oh, here now, Lord. Oh, here he is. That should do them for a wee while. Couple of days anyway. Steamy. <laughs> Making a hole in the bales in this shed now. That means we'll shortly be able to muck this out. It's starting to need muck to it like so getting quite high up the back. Which will be good to get that done. I'm sure quite a few of you might be subscribed to that Ollie Blogs. I seen he had a rant about that MS. Good on him. Uh, absolutely disgusting behaviour by them. Uh, support local produce, not imported food. Not that, but the absolute nonsense they made up about uh, swapping meat out for a day a week uh, will contribute. Uh, hang on, I'm actually going to do a bit of research here to get the actual wording M&S used. Unlike m and I'm doing my research here. <clears throat> Alright, there's there. Did you know that skipping meat for just one day has the same impact on your carbon footprint as not driving your car for a month? Very good. <laughs> so that's M&S's post and their claims, which is just utter crap in my opinion. It's not opinion, it's fact. And has been proven to be rubbish. Hence why they've now changed their post and they should now actually put out an apology, I would have thought. They obviously need to get somebody in charge that knows their stuff because that is quite clearly an upset vegan for promoting this veganuary rubbish to save the environment. You want to save the environment? Buy local, buy sustainable, buy seasonal and you'll do more for the environment than giving up meat for a day a week or giving up meat for a month. Do something good with yourselves. <laughs> Oh God, really pisses me off that lot, like, it really, really pisses me off all the false information that's spread about farming, and they, they don't fact check, they post it out, and folk believe it because they're very out of touch with farming, which is a shame. One of the reasons I actually started doing, well I started on TikTok and I, some of you will know that anyway, but that was one of the reasons I started posting stuff, because I was fed up with all the misinformation, and uh, folks seemed to like what I said, and uh, then I started YouTube because I wanted to show real farming, TikTok's one thing, YouTube's another, and I've seen multiple farmers on YouTube. And I think it's amazing the job that already some folk are doing on this. There's so many farming YouTubers already on here, and uh, just incredible what they what they're doing for farming, showing actual farming. Love it. So I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and see what I can show in my own style. And some people like it, and some people don't. So. <laughs> That sun is at a terrible height, I can't even see a thing. Anyway, that's this morning's run. <laughs> I do feel that like it's just a fad, it's just a phase. I don't think anybody's going to be doing this long term. I do believe there's more smart people out there. 
that have a bit of common sense about them to not believe all this misinformation and actually go to the source for their information. I'm also a firm believer that you can never win an argument with an idiot. <laughs> and as the bloke on Facebook says, ask a farmer, not an activist. I think that's quite good words. I quite like that, so. I quite like that saying. Don't know why I didn't think of it, Maggie. If anyone's wondering what's seasonal right now, it's lamb. Lamb is seasonal in this country. Get a munch into that. <laughs> Currently aiming to get to that field across there. Kind of hill field there. Getting some of the pipe out. I'll need to go roll up a pipe that's elsewhere. And then get it across the road. You can only see how it goes, I suppose. Two manitos with bales on them to get it across the road. The ground's really good, nice and hard. Perfect for this. Dad's decided he wants to spread over this side first before we go over there. <laughs> we'll get to that later this afternoon. Get this done. And then head over. <laughs> Finished spreading down here now. Just toddling about now, waiting on the pipe emptying since I'm at the bottom of the hill. It goes all the way up to the farm up the top there. So just wee dribbles coming out the back, but don't want it all in one place. So just uh, oh, that's no use. And there we go, a bit of light in my face now. I just thought a little bit, just that the slurry is no more all in one bit. Now for the fun part, I'm away to get the fort lift. <laughs> oh my, oh my. We had the fort lift there already, but we needed it. Um, so I'll go back up the road and get it. Then we'll just need to see how this goes. <laughs> so the idea is that the pipe will go along the top of these bales. And then we'll lift the forklifts up in the air and then that means that cars and whatnot can get underneath it in theory yeah oh my seen it done before so hopefully it goes well <laughs> that's the pipe all rolled out ready to go <laughs> let's see how it goes i'll show you what this looks like first though <laughs> We'll reach in for Sneggy, grab a burger with cheese. Dad is ever so slightly worried. <laughs> I'll be alright. Looks fine. Dad says that about me anyway, I always say it's fine. It's quite a distance really from the farm all the way down here. Well, it should be bra. Cars can get past, don't worry. Already had a few going past. Dad was here keeping an eye on things, so he's gonna get it going. Go up and get the pickup, I think. And sit in and make sure everyone's gonna be all right, so that way he can keep warm. <laughs> it's working very well. The pipe's still on top of the bale anyway. Ideal. And we're spreading. Fantastic. Let's get for a biscuit. Let's go. Right, that's a beautiful shot. Let's get that shot. Yeah. Ivy's nervous, so the window being open, spreading slurry. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching and I suppose we'll see you as soon as possible and hopefully I'll have something else other than slurry today. <laughs> Cheers guys, see you soon. We'll reach in for Sneggy, grab a burger with cheese. Uh, go on, boy yourself a little brandy, take it to the alley, give it all day.